So uh, hit me up there in the comments. Let me know if you can see me. If you can, we're going to drop some baits and catch some fish today. I don't know if y'all are ready to catch some fish, but I know I am. So uh, looks like we got 27 people. I had no idea how many people would be online at this hour, if anybody would be or not. But I thought, you know what? I'm coming out here today. I'm be out here on the water fairly early. So uh, we'll just see if anybody's online, hang out with y'all. All right, I'm seeing some hellos there. They're uh, popping up. So let's go ahead and drop some baits down. We ain't gonna catch these fish if we got baits setting up here by the kayak. So I'm gonna put the camera back here in the chest for a second. Using a combination of baits today, guys. Right here's a live bait. That's a live bluegill I'm about to drop down. We're gonna use live bait on the back rods, bluegill and sunfish, and cut white bass on the front to start with. I'm gonna have these baits all suspended right under me. This one here on the front left will be a white bass head. It's a fairly large white bass head. That is the only one that I have with me today. So we're gonna try to make that thing count. I'd like to feed that to something big today. I'd actually like to get two, three, four fish off that thing if possible. We'll see. Next is a white bass midsection going down. That's a little bit smaller chunk than what I would ideally like to be using. It's just, again, I only got one white bass with me today, so I'm gonna try to get four baits out of it if possible. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. When you're short on bait, fish always wanna throw your bait off the hook. And there's just a, a green sunfish on that one, live. Just kinda like we are here on the YouTube. So we'll drop it down here. Right now I'm setting 39 feet, y'all. I'm on a river bend, main channel ledge of the Clinch River. We're gonna get this bait set. And I'll flip this camera around here and we'll see if we can't answer a few questions while we wait on the fish to bite. I hope we don't have to wait long. I don't know what the heck we're going to talk about here at 7 o'clock in the morning, 7.30 in the morning. Lordy days, we got a super chat already. Who is this? Somebody done hit me up with 1999 here somewhere. Where'd it go? I see it. I see it at the top of the screen. John Duck, my man, 1999. He says, first super chat. I'm famous now. You sure are, John. John, I thought you changed your screen name or something. I thought you was, uh, I can't remember what it was, but you had changed it there on the last live stream. Here's another one, folks. Good golly. Billy Wilder, $5. Thank you, Billy. Man, 7.30 in the morning, y'all already making it rain on me. I promise you, there ain't no girl at the mouse's ear, 7.30 in the morning, getting money like I am out here this morning. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Let's find us some, let's find us some questions here. There's a catfish and crappie. He's in the house. What's going on? There's Kayak Mike. He said he's driving to work. Good golly, you're going to get yourself killed trying to watch me on the screen, Mike. We got David Hunter from Northwest Arkansas River Valley. That is a mouthful right there. Welcome. Thanks for showing up. The Meat Guy 314 says, Morning, guys and gals. Here from St. Louis. Cutting meat at work, watching you fish. All right. Well, make sure you cut the meat and not a finger off. That'd make for a bad day. You'd have to watch me from the ER. <laughs> Here's Craig. I'm going to butcher your name, Craig. Raznick? Raznick? Says, good morning, y'all. Wish I was fishing down there instead of working. Hey, I wish you was out here too, buddy. I hope we do some fishing today and not just sitting out here with lines in the water. Never know. I fished this spot on Friday and uh, did really good. I, I got some blues. I got some flatheads. Got some good quality. And so I thought I got good cell phone service here. I thought I'd come back out here and try it again today. The weather this week, we got the hurricane down there in Louisiana. If y'all are any y'all watching from down there, I hope you're safe, but that's gonna be moving up through Tennessee on Tuesday, Wednesday. Probably gonna knock me out of fishing those days and then 
depending on how much rain we get, things could be bad the rest of the week. So I thought today's probably my best chance to go live this week. And so we'll just get out here and do it first thing this morning. Here's another one, y'all. Here's John Duck back with another $4.99. Thank you, John. He said, I did, but people wouldn't open my email, so I changed it back. I'm going to open another channel when I start uploading my videos. Yeah, man, them email addresses, once you get one, you kind of stuck with it. That's like a email address for life. But good luck with your channel when you get it going. I'm sure once you once your channel takes off, nobody will open your other emails then. <laughs> Here's Daniel Reynolds says, good morning, big fan from Okinawa, Japan. Wow, Daniel, that's amazing. Are you just over there for, for work or military or uh, you, you live over there regularly? That's fascinating. I don't know that I've ever, I don't know if I've ever had anybody from Japan. I've had some UK, some Russia, some Europe. I had one guy from Saudi Arabia uh, recently, but uh, you might be the first one from Japan. Here's Andrew Fry. Love watching your videos. Hope you catch some big ones. Thank you, Andrew. Here's Hector Romero from Sulphur Springs, Texas. My Texas peeps in the house. Got a lot of good mornings here. Y'all are some morning people. Got 190. Are you kidding me? Two, this went up to 201. 200 people watching at 730 in the morning. Good golly, y'all people need to go to work. <laughs> Here's Stephen Buckham. Good afternoon from the UK. We're in a totally different time zone. The world's just waking up around here in America. People west of me, the sun ain't even up there yet. Here's fishing not catching, says it's 4.30 in Phoenix. Yeah, it's, it's way early out there, man. I didn't expect anybody west of me to be to be watching. Here is Valor Fall Gaming. Could you give us a quick tour of your kayak setup? Just bought a kayak, gonna try to start fishing from it. Well, we got a little time here, just dropped baits down, so why not? So today I'm in my Hobie Pro Angler 14, got a motor guide XI3 motor uh, on the front there, got spot lock and course heading and all those cool features. I uh, got my measuring board here laying across the front. Bait tank here, we got rod holders mounted, two on the front and two on the back to kind of give my rods a little distance, at least as much as you can get anyway in a kayak. Behind me, I've got a crate with some rod storage and my 100 amp hour battery to power the motor. And I got my bait cooler there in the back and that's pretty much it. That's, that's about all you need for a, a kayak for set up for catfish. You know, you just need some, basically some secure rod holders and a place to store your bait and you're good to go. All right, let's find us some more questions here. Um, Jared O says, I'm at work. Day just got better now that I can see some golly whoppers. Buddy, I hope we see some out here today. Here's Jewy's Outdoor Adventures. Good evening from Australia. Well, man, we got people watching all over the world right now. It's crazy. Australia, the land down under. E.T. Bassin says the sun's just coming up in Texas. It's coming up here too, but it's foggy out here this morning. So I'm hoping that fog takes a while to burn off because it's going to be a, a hot, humid day out here. It's probably I'm probably going to fish today till I don't know 10 o'clock or so, 10, 10, 30, 11. We'll just see. We'll see how the mood strikes us out here today. Here's James Borden, $4.99. Thank you, James, for the super chat money. He says, just an FYI, the guy from Japan is in the Air Force. Send him a hat or something. I don't even know how to go about sending stuff overseas. All my uh, merchandise and stuff is done through a third-party company, and so I don't know all the shipping stuff with them, but that's awesome. Thank you for your service there. From Japan. I wonder what time it is over there. It may be, I think they're east of us, ain't they? My geography, don't don't, uh, don't give me a geography lesson out here. I don't know where nothing's at. I GPS everything. Here's Brian Koppel. He says, how are you auctioning off the memorabilia? Well, my plan is to put the memorabilia stuff on eBay. I think that's gonna be the easiest place to do it. 
I uh, kind of got, I did a yard sale here a couple weeks back, just selling some of my old gear and whatnot. And what I wanted to do was just price it, put it first come first serve. And I thought that would be the way to go. It would kind of reward people who were, uh, subscribe to my channel with notifications on because I didn't make a big post ahead of time about it. And uh, boy, I got lit up on there, man. I had some nasty emails, people pissed off at me because they didn't feel like they had a fair chance or enough heads up about it. And of course the stuff was gone almost instantly, you know? And uh, so anyway, I thought, you know, in the future yard sale stuff and probably this memorabilia stuff, eBay is probably gonna be the way to go. Just run it on like a one week auction and just anybody who's interested can put bids on that stuff, you know? We'll see, it's a work in progress. I don't know how it'll, how it'll shake out. I've seen some more super chats popping up here. Let me see what's going on. We got somebody giving me money. I'm gonna acknowledge them, by gosh. Fishing, not catching, $5 bill, he says. What was the last thing and how often do you lose things overboard? Uh, great question. Thank you for the super chat. I don't lose stuff overboard too terribly often. I did lose a pair of pliers that I have had for years. Somehow them pliers survive forever. I lost them a couple weeks back, so that was the last thing. But uh, as far as expensive items I've lost overboard, I've lost a few rod and reel combos through the years. Um, lost a camera one time, a pair of boga grips. I had a real nice pair of boga grips, had the 60 pound scale, gone. Um, pliers, I've had ba live baits jump out of the bucket and go overboard on me, but that's been pretty much it. The worst tragedy was when I flipped my kayak, I guess that would count as going overboard. Uh, a couple months ago, all my camera gear got tore up except for the one that was on my chest, so I had to replace all that. We got Larry Allen in the house, $2, thank you Larry supporting the channel here. I appreciate that, man. We got 279 people at this, y'all. 7.30 in the morning, we got 279 of you watching. Blows my mind. D.Y. says, yo, Justin, we need your help back at the hospital. Well, boy, don't, don't hold your breath waiting on me. I'm done with that crap, man. If I can, if I can make a live, keep making a living doing this YouTube stuff. I have no desire to go back for it. I feel bad for my old coworkers right now, what they're going through in the ERs and throughout the whole hospital system. It's a hard time. I got a lot of friends that's looking to get out. Let's see here, whoa, here we go. Pontoon Jody Catfishing, $5. He says, you're in my spot. I enjoy watching your videos. Well, thanks. It's amazing to me. I could be, I could have my camera pointed at the ground and people would recognize a blade of grass and know exactly where I'm at. I see some of these YouTubers, you know, they're trying to hide their spots and whatnot. And I give up on that a long time ago. I said, it ain't worth it. People gonna figure it out. I'll just find new spots. <laughs> we got another one pop up there. I seen it come across the top of the screen. He said, it's Smith Family Fishing Adventures. $5, thank you, sir. He said, if you could catch a 50 pound blue or a 30 pound flatty, which would you pick? Well, I'd probably go with 50 pound blue out here this morning. I think that would be better for business, don't you think? <laughs> now, if you ask me 50 pound blue or flathead, I'm gonna take the flathead. But I hope we get us a little of both out here today. When I fished this spot on Friday, I got three, I think I ended up with three flatheads and several blues. Biggest flathead was like 37 inches. It was a nice flathead. And so uh, this section of this ledge I'm on, it's real rocky, a lot of debris. And so there's some stuff in here. Don't have any current flow out here this morning. So just kind of sitting here, hoping some fish work up and down this ledge and come find my baits. If, if we sat here an hour or so and I haven't had anything going on, no taps, no bites, no nothing, probably going to start moving down this ledge and just get on the move. and. Uh, see what we can get there. Boy, we got some more, man. People's load me up first thing here. Y'all are amazing. We got Green Lightning. Green Lightning, 999. He says, hey, Justin, good morning from Nebraska. Well, thank you for the super chat there. And uh, man, Nebraska, I think what y'all, two hours behind me there. So uh, good morning. <laughs> CJN. 555. Thank you, CJ. 
says, kicking back in North Little Rock, wishing I was fishing. Well, get out there, buddy. Quit kicking back and well, go kick back on the river anyway. But thank you for the content cash there. I appreciate that. Barry Black, $5. Thank you, Barry. Appreciate your support. Let's see what we got here. Here's John Hall, $5. Says, love watching from Sedalia. I may be saying that wrong. I don't know. Sedalia, Missouri. Thank you, John. Thank you for the content, Cash. Good morning to Sedalia. Let's see if we can find some more stuff up here. Here's Billy Wilder. He says, I hang my walls with all your fishing gear. You have to see my room. I would love to get something from your live stream. Well, I hope we catch something out here today that's that's worth auctioning off from the live stream. I don't know. I don't want to do just, you know, random stuff. I'd like it to be kind of uh, memorable fish and memorable catches and stuff like that. And um, so we'll see. I've got a couple more items I'm going to be listing soon. I've got the jig head from a gar that I caught recently, which is a pretty cool catch. Uh, landed that on my ultralight. And then I've got a video that's going to be coming out tomorrow a uh, pretty good video. It's like 45 minutes long. Got my biggest flathead of the year. And that was the trip that I did last Monday, right before I went live. And so I've saved the hook from that big flathead because that was a pretty memorable catch. So that'll be going up soon. Cat, catfish, QQ. I guess that means question. I don't know. Have you ever went fishing in Salty Daisy? No, I haven't. Never fished out there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We might be about to get us one here. That green sunfish getting lively. I felt him. I feel like my rod tips kind of standing up there a little bit. Let me just show you the graph here. We got a little something, something down there right there by my baits. Let's see what we're doing here. Come on, fishy. Anything? Bueller? Bueller? Uh-oh, this one got hit. Let me put this back in the test. That's on that white bass midsection. Oh, he hit it and didn't hook up. They teasing me, y'all, they teasing me. And what these fish don't know is they got 300 people watching and they teasing you too. If I'm gonna get teased, by God, it better be at the mouse's here or something. I don't want these fish teasing me. Where are we at here? Where are we at? I'm. I'm Boy, the comments just keep coming here. All right. I think we're back now. Amy Fish says, watching from Bass Pro in Memphis this morning. That's awesome. I'm going to need that Bass Pro discount, please, and thank you. <laughs> oh, here we go. Todd Dickinson in the house, 1999. Thanks for making man's day every day time you post. Thanks for, I got to read that again, Todd. Thanks for making man's day every time you post. All right, well, thank you for the content, Cash. That's like some kind of tongue twister to me. Maybe it's too dang early. I can't get it out. This in here is getting hit again, Todd. Todd gave me $19.99, y'all. Todd's the man. You know who ain't the man is this fish. Oh, he might be now. He might be hooked up. Nope. We got a dink down there just, I'm gonna pick up on this thing. It may be just be a small fish that's got this thing. No, he ain't got it. He's just, he's nipping at it down there. He's taking some bites out of it. I got some small fish out here on Friday, but uh, it was some better quality fish mixed in too. And this ledge here, you just never know. There's so much stuff and debris and whatnot for them to hide in. I've got a few anchors down there too from previous previous years you just never know what i'm gonna lose out here here's michael kelly five dollars thank you michael he says love watching your videos watching from augusta georgia down there where they play the masters michael tell this fish to get its act together here buddy it won't listen to me maybe it'll listen to you well this fish is listening to michael he's on there now no he ain't boy i'm about sick of that fish He hooks up for real. I'm gonna jerk a knot in his head. We got some more stuff coming up here on the graph right there, y'all. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, the live bluegill, y'all. Ooh, that rod tip's in the water. Let's catch this one. Let's catch this one. Oh, yeah. Here we go. First fish of the live stream. For those of you that tuned in kind of late, I'm on a river bend on the Clinch River. 39 feet. Spot locked here. Got two live baits out. This is a live bluegill this fish ate. And I got a... Uh, piece of white bass I've cut up. I got the head on the front left and a midsection on the front right. This fish, I believe, is in, is he in my back? I think he's in my back line with that green sunfish. All right, we're getting the party started here, y'all. I hate that he got in my other back line. He's probably gonna throw that live bait off. I got several live baits in the bucket, but I'd like for him to each be eaten by a fish, not just be thrown off at random by inconsiderate fish that swim into my other lines. Oh, come on up here, fishy. I see your bubbles. What are you? Are you a blue? That's a fun size blue to start the morning here, y'all. We got us a fun sizer. Fun sizer in the house. Blue Kitty, did you know that you are live on YouTube with I think 300 and something people watching last I checked. I got the wrong glove out. Let me get the right-handed glove. We'll land this old devil. This fish here, he's coming into a clean kayak. I washed this thing over the weekend. Washed the funk off of it. I had something stinking in here. I don't know what it was. It may have been catfish poop or something, but it was... I'm used to bad smells, you know, being working ER for so many years, but whatever was in here just was rank. So I washed this thing. Hopefully didn't wash the good juju off of it. All right, Blue Kitty, come here now. Uh-huh. Now you need to be done now. I bet you this in here, I'll throw him on my board for you, and I bet you he's probably 34 inches or so, give or take. Oh, fish, don't be showing out here while you're live on the tube now. Come on. These people want to, these people want to see you. Come on in here, fishy. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, space this morning here, y'all, is a little limited. I got the bait tank. I got my measuring board. I need to put that bait tank behind me. There we go. All right. I believe that's a female there, y'all. It's got a really small mouth. Let's just throw it up here on the board. I bet you this thing's probably... Oh, I was wrong. 36 inches, y'all. That's a nice fish to start the day with. That's a quality fun sizer. Heck yeah, man. Awesome. And that one, again, ate the live bluegill. So we're going to put another one down here in just a second. I get this one going. I'll try to hold it out there for you. I, I'm working on building me a mount for this chest cam here uh, for my phone so I can go back and forth. But the first attempt at it yesterday was a total fail. So <laughs> we're just going to go chest cam only out here this morning. And there he goes. All right. Let me dry my hands off, y'all. That fish came out of my other line. So I'm gonna just uh, get this. We'll drop a bait down. I'm gonna check that other bait here when I get this done. Just make sure it didn't get knocked off because you never know. You know, I don't want to have a bare hook sitting down there if I can help it. There's one right up near the top. Let's see if I can get hold of this thing. Bear with me, y'all. I still got to get me another net here for my bait tank. I got to catch these things barehanded right now. All right. That's a smaller bluegill there. He'll catch us something though. Well, he's a lively devil. Let me get that scale off there. Go do all that flopping around down there on bottom bluegill. I was talking to my buddy Clint out Big Fish Outfitters the other day, y'all, and uh, I was out there a pretty good while because I was meeting a guy to sell some rods on Saturday and he stood me up, left me out there 
no courtesy call, no heads up, nothing. But anyway, I was out there at Big Fish Outfitters talking to my buddy Clint. Now he's got a big bait tank. He's got a, uh, I think it's like 200 gallon bait tank. Now I'm thinking about building me something like that too. I'm just gonna reel this green sunfish in just to make sure it's still on there. But if I do that, if I build me a big bait tank, I'm gonna be using live bait more often because I'll be able to store them for longer periods of time a whole lot easier and just be able to grab them and go and, and have them when I need them and stuff. So some of you want me, I've had a lot of requests for live bait and stuff, especially like bigger live baits and bigger live baits are just hard to keep alive for long periods of time with the setups that I have with my five and 10 gallon setups. So if I had something big at the house there, it'd be great. But anyway, got the first one out of the way. We got 426 people watching, amazing. Let me go back up here and what's going on with this rod? I just dropped that bait back down. Well, something's after him there. We just dropped it back down. Some, he's swimming from something, buddy. All right, I'm gonna get back to the comments. Y'all let me know if this fish takes off now. Y'all gonna be watching over my shoulder here. I think something may have him. I don't think that sunfish could swim with that sinker. My line is going backwards, y'all. Something, yeah. Oh my gosh, he just, no, he's on there still. He's on there. I thought he'd just let it go. Oh, he let it go then. We just dropped that bait back down and I must have put it right in something's face. We got the bait back. All right, let's send him back down. False alarm. That's two bites though, real quickly, so. That's encouraging. All right, we'll get him reset. And we'll get back to the, get back to the old Q&A up here. Let's see, I know we've had some super chats roll in here that I've missed. Let me scroll up here. I think I left off at, at Michael's there. Memory serves me. Yep, there's, uh-oh, uh-oh. Boy, something's after that sunfish. They're just going to kill it down there. They're not eating it. They're just going to kill it. They kill that sunfish. We're going to have problems. Let's see. Let me scroll on down and find these super chats. I don't want to miss anybody that's giving me money out here. Y'all loading me up here at 7.30 in the morning. Oh, here is Moist Fisher dick i don't know what the dck <laughs> that's an interesting name but he gave me ten dollars thank you i appreciate that you can call yourself whatever you want to if you give me money <laughs> here's jared o five dollars he said you need more mods bear skin yellow feather needs to be booted out okay well i don't know who that is i'll boot them when i see them I do need some more moderators. You can't never have too many moderators. In the same way, you can never have too much bait or too many fish. But when people get out of line on here, they get the boot. That's how it is. They go on and they never come back. Uh, let's see. Oh, bearskin's gone, looks like Deanna. Deanna Phillips is in the house. That's my girl in Oklahoma. Everybody, y'all tell Deanna, congratulations. She just got engaged. She's got a rock on her finger. She's gonna be married and hitched up soon. She's off the market, y'all. But uh, she's in the house and she has deleted some stuff here from Bearskin. Deanna, uh, whoever Bearskin is, if he pops up again, y'all just block him permanent. Don't let him come back if he's, if he's causing problems. Thank you, Deanna. Thank you for taking care of business there. Here's Charles Seward. Charles, if I butchered your name, I'm sorry. $7. Thank you, though. He says, hello from Martins Ferry, Ohio. You're making me want to turn the truck around and go home and grab my gear and hit the river. But that's, that's a great idea. I think you should do that. As long as it won't get you fired or get you in trouble with the missus, you go, you go get your rods and head down to the river. Boy, Bearskin's been timed out. He's had a bunch of things blocked here. 
this fish is he hooked up now y'all hang on let me get the chest back in the can that green sunfish got eat oh he's a pulling too now he's a pulling he don't feel very big but boy he's a fighting with everything he's got well, y'all business is picked up here that's two fish in just a just a few minutes I didn't know what to expect coming out here today. You know, I had a good day out here Friday. Most importantly, I have cell phone service out here. That's when you're going live on YouTube, that's more important than having fish at the spot is having cell phone service to be able to go live from. And this rod up here is getting hit while I got this one up here to the surface. That one, that one there is that piece of white bass. He's just swimming with it. Let me just set this one back in the rod holder a minute. Oh, that one there on the white bass, let it go. Well, let's let's land this one that ate the sunfish. It ain't, it fought hard for its size, but it ain't very big. Let's get it over here and take a look. Yeah, that one there, I'd call it a larger dink. That front rod up there is getting hit again. They're just, they're just tearing that white bass up, just nipping at it. Come here, fishy. Show yourself off to the world. You got a few hundred people watching you right now, fish. Watching us do this live. What they don't want to see, nobody wants to see you put a hook in me, fish. Calm it down. Somebody probably wants to see it. I don't want to see it. Okay. All right, you're caught now. You're caught. Where my pliers at on you? Okay. Up, oh, up. Oh. That front rod now. He's got it now, don't he? Let's get rid of this and y'all. That's a, that's a, you know, larger dink right there. He's probably in that 30 inch range, probably. Let's just reel this one in though. No, he let it go while I was fooling with that other one. We got some tomfoolery going on on this front rod, y'all small fish up there just messing with that bait but uh live bait so two for two all right well, let me do this let me uh we got that one reset let's get us another live bait on on this back rod and i think we'll be back in business have all four rods with baits on them again who's the next victim in here what we got These things are hard to get a hold of in here. Oh, oh, no, I had one. Oh, okay, there's our winner. There's our winner. Calm it down. Save that energy, bluegill. Okay. You caught now. I want you to go down there and do what you just did underwater. If you do that, we'll catch something on you. Come here. Show yourself off to the world. Goodbye, bluegill. Hey, gone. He about to go down there and and get got. All right, guys, we're catching some fish out here this morning. If nothing else, we ain't get skunked today. Got us a fun sizer, a larger dink. The morning is young. My fish on Friday that I caught, my best fish come about, I don't know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I guess. So, seemed like the feeding window on Friday was a little bit later in the morning. Okay, let me, bunch of comments here I've missed. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go up. We got a big super chat up here from somebody. Let me find it here. Let me find, oh, here's Riley Taylor, $50. Thank you, Riley, that is awesome, man. That's, that's, a, that's a big donation, thank you so much. The comment from Riley says, thanks Justin for all your hard work out on the water. Like I've said before, your techniques have helped even all the way in West Texas. Have fun and be safe out there. Well, thank you so much, Riley. I'm glad to hear it's working out for you. And I hope you catch them. some big, I hope you get to go fishing today, Riley. All right. Here's another one. Here's another one from Riley. It says, Dan, LOL, yeah, just feeling good today. Just wanting to spread the good day. Well, 
Oh, Riley, you've made my day, that's for sure. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Here's Chad Wright saying, have a good day at work, Brandon. Brandon, have a good day, buddy. <laughs> Who else we got? There's Jack Ashmore saying, who's the next victim? I don't know what that means. Y'all got conversations going on I ain't privy to. We got a rod going down right here. Is this one gonna hook up on the white bass finally, maybe, possibly? Let's reel in another one, y'all. Oh my gosh, this white bass just cannot catch a fish. Them small ones down there just toying with it. I won't get the camera turned back around here on me. There'll be another one after it. All right, let me find, let me scroll back up here. Yeah, there's a lot of conversations going on in the chat box. 499 people in here. Amazing, $174 in Super Chats here in 36 minutes, that's crazy. 7.30 in the morning on a Monday, man. Here's Kelly Speaks Out. Good morning, kayak shout out from Spoon River in Elmira, Illinois. Please shout out my fishing fam friends, Epic Catfish. Good luck and stay cool, go green sunfish go. Well. Epic Catfish, Kelly Speaks Out, there's your shout out. Thanks for watching. Has the moderators kicked off all the, all the garbage here? Palmetto Cat says, you must be fishing shallow. I'm 39 feet here today, that's shallow for me. Here's somebody message retracted, I don't know what that's about. There's a lot of stuff I've missed, obviously. Hopefully that one feller's blocked permanent. Otherwise, paint and services by Steve, if I have to go off on the person disrupting me, paint and services by Steve will be sending me emails. That guy named Steve Scared, I think, he sent me an email a few weeks back after I'd went off on somebody in the live stream for disrupting it. Called me a, I can't remember what, douchebag or a dickhead one, some D word. Talking about how I'm bad for the community and if I don't change my ways, he's going to call my sponsors and, and give them a talking to about me. And I thought, well, y'all YouTube audience are technically my sponsors. That's where the bulk of my money comes from. So I guess he's going to be calling a, about 100,000 of you. <laughs> people, I swear, you know, at least he signed his name to it. I give him credit for that. Most people, when they threaten me or, or lash out, it's all anonymous. But that Steve Skerritt guy, he... He at least signed his name to the email when he when he threatened me. People, I swear. Here's here's Hooks and Hammocks. Ten dollars. Thank you, Hooks and Hammocks. Thanks for showing up at this hour. Hooks and Hammocks says it worked. Not blocked anymore. Yeah, sorry about that, buddy. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was me or uh, uh, probably my moderator. My, you know. Uh oh, hold on. We got a fish. Is this one finally hooked up on this piece of white bass? Do we have a solid hook? We do. Yeah, we finally hooked up on this piece of bait here, y'all. This has been a ordeal. This bait's been hit 10 times. Finally got a hook up. But I was saying, yeah, hooks and hammocks, sometimes people get blocked. You know, they joke with me or something, and the moderator don't know it's a joke. And, you know... I'm always like, air on the side blocking. We can fix it. We can unblock somebody, but if they if they being a jerk, oh, this is a flathead. It's a small flathead, but by gosh, they got us one. Here comes pontoon boat, man. Y'all wave at him as he goes by. I'm about to have my hands full with this fish. Let's land us a flatty. Good morning, flathead. You're live on YouTube. Welcome to the show. Getting our bait back too. How awesome is that? Let me turn around this way. This fella here on the pontoon don't need to know we catching fish. There's just a flatty. Little fella. Just a little thing. Pretty though. These flatheads, they all this one here's got some yellow and brown and black. Go tell your bigger cousins down there. We wanna we wanna play with them today too. 
Get out of here, buddy. All right, let's check this bait out. I might just drop it back down. I, for those of you that tuned in late, I've got one white bass with me today, so I'm trying to make these chunks count. So I'm gonna get about four baits total uh, out of it. So if we can double up on one or two, that would be awesome. Drop it back down. I think we're good on live bait. I don't think we're gonna run out of a live, unless we just really get on some fish. But the cut bait situation's pretty slim. I do have some frozen skipjack if need be, but I prefer to stick with the fresh white bass if possible. Okay, we're back in business now. Let's get back to the chat box here. Let me scroll back up to hooks and hammocks. I think that's the comment I left off on. Here's another one. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Mark Francis, 699CA. I believe that's Canadian, possibly. Hello to Canada this morning, Mark, if that's where you're at. You could be in Jamaica for all I know. Maybe you just got Canadian dollars on you. Who knows? <laughs> Where are we at? Here's Bill Hood just popped up. 1999. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate your support. Thanks for stopping by. Man, y'all load me up, man. Bill hit me up. Here's Catfish and Crappie, $10. Thank you, Catfish and Crappie, for that the content cash. He says, can you please wish D a happy birthday for me? D, happy birthday. I don't know how old you are, but however old you are, I hope it's the best year of your life. Hope you have a special day. A happy birthday. <laughs> Where's, is D here? Is, is D in the chat box? Somebody, somebody point D out in the chat box, by gosh. Jared O says, I didn't expect Steve to be an issue on anyone's catfishing channel. He usually shows strong support. Yeah, he was upset with me. I let some hater have it there on the live stream and he was upset that uh, I'm not family friendly and I'm bad for the community or something like that. I thought about just posting his email for everybody to say it was, it was pretty obnoxious uh, that you're gonna reach out a day later because you're so upset with me over a live stream that he chose to click on you know it's that's the thing that gets me nobody has to watch and while i know people do watch my channel with children and i think it's awesome that you all are getting your kids involved in fishing the fact is my channel is not rated as family friendly if you go to youtube kids which is an app on youtube just specifically for children you can go on there type in your kids age and it will only show age appropriate content you will not find my channel or any of my videos on YouTube Kids because I am not designated as a family friendly. Anytime you upload a video, even for this live stream, I have to click a box that says not intended for children or people under 18 or whatever. So uh, th that guy's whole argument, his whole beef with me, uh, really, it really pissed me off, to be quite honest with you. Uh, you're gonna threaten me I don't take kindly to threats. So I thought about putting him on blast and doing like a whole video dedicated to him, but I thought, nah, he'd probably get off on the attention. That's what most of them haters normally do. You know, they just, act, they, they lash out hoping to get a response out of you. So I took the high road on it there, but he's kind of my example for people. I mean, if you're gonna threaten me and, you, and sign your name to it, <laughs> you're probably gonna get brought up at some point and get talked about. Ruger 7750, $10. Ruger's back in the house, y'all. Ruger's a regular viewer of this channel in the live streams. He says, in honor of my granddaughter that turned one yesterday, happy birthday, Liv. Well, thank you for that content cash there. And Liv, you're one years old. You probably will never see this, but happy birthday. We got a hit. This one right here might be for Liv. This, this live bait, y'all, this live bait has got something on it here. Liv, this fish is for you. Yep, come on up, fish. Oh, it let it go, y'all, it let it go. 
I think I'm just pulling up the blue yell, yep. Daggone. Well, we got our bait on there still. Sorry, Liv, I thought I had you a fish. A little scale there, all right. Bluegill's looking a little rough. Let's send him back down. We'll try it again. Daggone, man. It looked like a looked like it was hooked up. The rod was bent over pretty far, but sometimes in, that's a pretty big live bait. That's one of my bigger bluegill down there, so it may have just had part of the bait, maybe not had the whole thing in the hook. Okay. Back to it. Let me find there from Liv. Okay. Again, happy birthday, Liv. Sorry I couldn't land the fish for you. Um, five, or we really have 510 people in here at, I don't know what time it is, 8 o'clock, 8.15, something like that. Man. Well, for those of you that tuned in late, they for dang sure wasn't 500 people when I got started this morning. So I think we've got two blues landed so far. One of them was like 36 inches. It was a nice fish. And uh, another smaller blue, and we got a small flathead a little while ago. So for those of you just getting here, we're using a combination of live and cut bait out here on a river bend on the Clinch River today. And probably gonna be fishing here till 10, 10 30-ish this morning. Um, just gonna give it a few hours, give it the college try, and oh no, so may get run off earlier than that if we get on some fish and run out of bait, but uh, that's the plan for now. All right, let me find us some more. Here's Mark Francis, Raquel's birthday shout out September 5th. Well, Raquel, happy birthday early. Wayne Lott says, never seen a video of you at Truman Lake. Do you or will you come to Warsaw, Missouri? Uh, Wayne, I'm actually hoping to make it out of there. I had spoke with Mike Baker from Mike Baker Videos YouTube channel earlier in the year, and him and I have kept in touch uh, throughout the summer about getting out there and me doing some fishing with him, some crappie fishing with him, because he is an excellent crappie fisher. One of my favorite YouTube channels. He's just so smart and so good at what he does. And uh, it's about a nine, 10 hour drive for me to get out there. So it's not something I can just go with the drop of a hat. And, and he had some stuff with work earlier in the year. And now we got, I've got some trips planned already for this fall or was planning. And of course my dog's sick, which kind of put all that stuff on hold. So I don't know when I'm going to get out there to Truman, but it is on the to-do list. I do want to make it out there. Just, just a fish with Mike. We got another one pop up here, y'all. We got another one. Who done it? Palms Gaming, 1999. Hold on, Palms. Hold on. This bluegill got eat again. I think he's hooked up now. Somebody, somebody go get Liv. Tell her well, this bluegill got eaten. It's Liv's first birthday. We're going to reel her in a fish on a live bluegill. He ain't alive no more, I can tell you that, because this thing's a got him and pulling, buddy. This thing's a pulling down there, man. He's got that rod bent, buddy. I'm off to a good start here, y'all. This is what, four fish here in the first hour? I think this is a blue. It feels like he's rolling down there a little bit. That's typically how it goes with me, y'all. I, I use them live baits and catch blues. Got cut bait out. That's the flathead that eats the cut bait. <laughs> yeah, that's a blue cat. That's another, that's another fun sizer right there. I'm gonna tire his butt out of here a second while I get my glove. I get the old glove on. Land this old devil. Lord, y'all don't want me singing to you out here this morning. I have 500 and something people in the box there a minute ago. I'll start singing. We'll be down to about 12 of you. The 12 that would be left would be just the people that's not even paying attention. They just got me playing in the background or something. <laughs> yeah, it's another one here I'm going to throw on the board, y'all. He's, I'm going to guess 32, 34 inches probably. 
somewhere in that range if I can get hold of him here. All right, come on in, Blue Cat. Oh, oh. Well, he ain't ready. Hey, hey, Blue Cat, hey, you live now. You live on YouTube and you acting this way, y'all be embarrassed. You gonna, you gonna embarrass your family and friends with your behavior? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's enough of that now. I brought him in a little too soon, y'all. Normally I don't land them that quick, but since we live, I can't play fish out as long as I would normally do it. Hold yourself up there to the world, Blue Kitty. You wanna lay on the board and see how big you are? I'm worried you're gonna start flopping now. Yeah, I thought it'd be 32, 34. It's a little over 34, almost 35 inches. That's another solid fun sizer. Uh-oh, hey, 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 look right here. Look right here at that other live bait. Oh, here we go, y'all, here we go. We doubled up here. I need to get rid of this one. It's in the on the measuring board there. He's liable to knock my camera and everything else off. Let me get hold of it. So y'all say goodbye to this one. We gotta let him go. He gone. We're gonna reel in the next one here. Live bait getting it done out here today, y'all. I can't remember that other one that ate the bluegill. I can't remember if we had a bluegill or sunfish. There was something splashing, y'all might have seen it. I just heard it. I can't remember if this rod had a bluegill or a green sunfish. It's another blue. I gotta look at its tail there. Yeah, that's another long, skinny fish. That's what I call fun size, y'all, because they just in that kind of fun size range, you know, 30 to 36 inches is kind of what I consider a a fun size they just a good time hard fighting fish especially on the tackle i use and we got two back to back come here fishing we got that chat box is rolling right now i'm missing people's comments because of you i actually think this one's gonna be longer than the last one i mean it's super skinny he's all head no body Come here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I got my bait tank up here. Y'all ain't got no room in this Florida's kayak right now. Yeah, let me get my pliers here. Fish, yeah, you're hooked good. There we go. Yeah, y'all look at there. There's just another just long, skinny blue cat. Lay on the board. Let's see how big you are. I think you longer than the other one. He's hulking on me. He's hulking up. Look at him. He ain't gonna lay there. He says he ain't got time for this today. He's gotta go get his breakfast. Yeah, guys, this one here, he ain't gonna lay his tail right 